Welcome back on my YouTube channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to install the Flex firmware for the FSKI R9M module on your Tyrannus. First of all we go to the OpenTX website and then we click on downloads. For the Flex firmware we need OpenTX 2.2.3 but there is no official release available yet, so we need to download the nightly build of OpenTX 2.2.3. Then we need the Windows or Mac OS installer, depending on your computer. And we also need the SD card content. Download the latest version of both files and save it on your computer. After that, go to your download folder and install Companion. Once it's completed, click Finish and run the application. We also need to unpack the SD card content, for this I have created a new folder on my computer. Now we need to push our Tyrannus into the USB mode. For doing this press the two trim switches inwards and then turn it on. If that is done, connect your Tyrannus with your computer. My computer detects the connected device and automatically opens the drives for the Tyrannus and the SD card. If the connection with your computer doesn't work, go back to the OpenTX website and install the Zedek driver. So now we can go ahead and copy the SD content from our download folder to the SD card on our Tyrannus. Then we go back to Companion and we go ahead to Settings and there we click on the Application Settings tab and select Use Nightly Bytes on the drop down field. Then go back to the radio profile tab and choose your radio type and make sure that the two checkboxes for Flex R9M and Lua are checked. You also have to set the SD structure path and check the two last options. Click OK and then go to download. Download firmware and save it on your download folder. After that you can write the firmware to your radio. If that is done, take your Tyrannus, remove the USB plug and turn it off. Then turn it back on and if you flash your Tyrannus correctly, you will see the nightly byte warning on the screen. You can also check the version by long pressing the menu button and paging over to version. The next part is to flash the R9M module and the R9 receiver to the latest Flex firmware. Therefore we need to download the firmware from the FRSky RC website. Unpack the zip file and copy the corresponding firmware files for your receiver and your module to the firmware folder on your Tyrannus. For doing this you need to turn on your Tyrannus in the USB mode again and connect it with your computer. For flashing the receiver and the Anon M module you need to connect them with your Tyrannus and select the right firmware on your Tyrannus firmware folder. Then long press enter and select flash external module. I am flashing the receiver first, followed by the R9M module. And now we can set up the external R9M module. For setting up the R9M you have to select your flight model on your Tyrannus and then go to the model setup page. Go down to internal RF and turn off your internal module. 
then go ahead to external RF and select R9M. At next you can select the right frequency for your location. 868 MHz for the EU and 915 MHz for the United States and other countries as well. You also can set the channel range, s link for telemetry and the RF power from 10 mW up to 1 W. At last all you have to do is to solder your receiver to your flight controller and to bind your receiver with your Tyrannus. Basically this procedure is the same than on the Afrosky XM Plus like shown in my Armaturn Chameleon build and setup videos. So if you don't know how to solder the XM Plus to your FC or how to bind it, take a look at my other how-to videos as well. So that's it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to write it in the comments below. In my next video I will go on with testing the R9M module. Thank you for watching and see you on my next video.